Have you ever noticed tiny worm-like things floating in your eyes? These specks or cobweb-like shapes that float across your field of vision can be annoying, but they are typically harmless. They usually don't affect your vision. However, if they are large, they may appear to cast a shadow over your vision in bright light. Eye floaters become more common as we age. They don't normally go away. Over time, your brain adapts to them, and you won't likely notice them as much. Eye floaters are usually harmless and can go away on their own. However, if you notice a sudden increase in the number or size of your floaters, or if you see flashes of light, you should see an eye doctor right away. These changes could be a sign of a more serious problem, such as a retinal tear or detachment. Moreover, if your floaters are accompanied by pain or redness in your eye, or if you start noticing a gradual loss of vision, then you must get yourself checked by an eye doctor. Pay more attention if you have diabetes, as it can increase your risk of retinal problems. Now before we see how to get rid of eye floaters, it's really important to understand what causes them in the first place. Eye floaters are usually caused by age-related changes in the vitreous humor, the jelly-like substance that fills the space between the lens and the retina at the back of the eye. As we age, the vitreous humor shrinks and becomes more like a liquid. This can cause collagen fibers, which give vitreous humor its structure, to clump together and cast shadows on the retina. Now collagen fibers are made up of proteins, and one very particular thing that can damage this protein is glycation or advanced glycation end products. Glycation can naturally happen in our body when sugar molecules attach to proteins and damages them. So when the same thing happens in your eyes, that is when sugar attaches to the collagen in your eyes, it can lead to eye floaters. Glycation can also cause the vitreous humor to become more liquid. This can make the vitreous humor more susceptible to clumping and casting shadows on the retina. Now let's see how to get rid of eye floaters. Getting rid of eye floaters entirely can be challenging, and in many cases, it may not be possible without surgical intervention. However, there are certain compounds that have an anti-glycation effect inside our body, which can effectively prevent eye floaters from forming too. Number 1. Choline Choline is a nutrient that is important for many functions in the body, including brain health, muscle function, and liver function. It also acts as a precursor to acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter that is involved in memory, learning, mood, and muscle movement. Choline also helps to keep cholesterol levels in check and can also help to reduce inflammation. Speaking of inflammation, choline has also been studied for its anti-inflammatory properties. Inflammation is closely related to the formation of ages, or advanced glycation end products. So by reducing inflammation, choline can also help to counter the effects of glycation and prevent eye floaters. Now, the recommended daily intake of choline is 425 mg for women and 550 mg for men. However, some experts recommend taking choline up to 1,000 mg per day for eye floaters. The actual dosage depends on the severity of your condition, so be sure to ask your healthcare expert about that. Some excellent sources of choline are eggs, beef liver, salmon, chicken breast, turkey meat, almonds, peanuts, and some vegetables like Brussels sprouts and broccoli. You can also consider taking choline supplements, but only as per the advice of your healthcare expert. Number 2. Inositol Inositol is basically a type of carbohydrate, more specifically a sugar alcohol, that is found naturally in many foods, such as fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. It is also available as a dietary supplement. It is a member of the vitamin B family, but it is not technically considered a vitamin because our body can synthesize it on its own. Now, inositol has been shown to help improve brain health, eye health, hair health, skin health, and digestive health. In fact, some studies show that inositol supplements can help to improve blood sugar control in people with type 2 diabetes. In one study, people with type 2 diabetes who took inositol supplements for six months had significantly lower blood sugar levels than those who took a placebo. Another study found that inositol supplements help to improve insulin sensitivity in people with prediabetes, which means it can also help regulate your blood sugar levels. This can prevent glycation from happening that could mess with your eye function. Now, there's currently no standard about how much inositol should you take on a daily basis. However, some experts suggest taking about 500 milligrams of inositol daily to help remove eye floaters. 
but you must ask about the correct dosage of inositol supplements from your healthcare expert, depending on the severity of your condition and your individual needs. Number three, methionine. Methionine is an essential amino acid, meaning our body cannot produce it on its own and we need to obtain it from food or supplements. Our body needs it to build and repair tissues, produce proteins, and make enzymes and other important molecules. It also helps to protect the liver from damage and plays a role in immune function. But what makes it effective against eye floaters is its role in preventing glycation. A study published in the journal Diabetes found that methionine supplementation helped to reduce levels of advanced glycation end products, which are the harmful products of glycation. The study also found that methionine supplementation improved insulin sensitivity, which is basically the ability of our body to use insulin to lower blood sugar levels. Another study, published in the journal Nutritional Biochemistry, found that methionine supplementation helped to protect against glycation-induced damage to collagen, a protein that is found in your eyes, skin, and other tissues. These facts indicate that regularly taking methionine from foods or supplements can effectively protect your body from the effects of glycation, help improve blood sugar levels, and can even help to protect collagen fibers in your eyes. You can take it from foods like meat, poultry, eggs, dairy products, fish, particularly salmon and tuna, nuts, especially Brazil nuts, and seeds such as sesame seeds and sunflower seeds. You can also consider taking about 200 mg of methionine in the form of supplements, but only as per the recommendations from your healthcare expert. In addition to these dietary supplements, there are two very special strategies that can effectively help you control your blood sugar levels and therefore prevent eye floaters. Number 1. Ketogenic Diet The keto diet is all about eating low carbs and high fats to put your body in a state of ketosis. That's when your body relies more on fats for energy instead of carbs. This cannot just help to shed those extra pounds, but can also help to improve insulin sensitivity and maintain your blood sugar levels. And be sure to add some proteins to your keto diet too, because they are essential. Some of the healthiest foods that you can consider in a keto diet are grass-fed meat, grass-fed butter, grass-fed cheese, avocados, berries, sauerkraut, extra virgin olive oil, zucchini, leafy greens, nuts, and seeds. Number 2. Intermittent Fasting In simple words, intermittent fasting makes you take regular breaks from eating, allowing your body to optimize insulin function and manage blood sugar levels more effectively. So intermittent fasting can help you get rid of eye floaters quickly and efficiently. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to support our mission to help improve your health. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.